Hello again and welcome back to NAB 2019, right here at the One Source Video Production Workflow in the B&H booth in Central Hall. My name is Nick Barcasey and coming to you right now is Nate Parada, Channel Sales Manager for One Stop Systems. Nate, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Nick. I appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Very excited to, to catch up with you and have you stop by the booth here at uh, B&H, the One Source Video Production Workflow. So. Um, What's, what's new this year? Talk about One Stop Systems. What's going on? A lot of exciting stuff, I know. Yeah, absolutely. So One Stop Systems, our core competency comes from the HPC market. So designing and manufacturing servers, host bus adapters, chassis, anything that, anything that helps the uh, speed up any type of processes, right? Any HPC, GPU type of processes, storage, all the above. So we do a little bit of everything. That's incredible. So really what we're talking about is Somebody has a computer, they have a system, they need, they need that extra juice behind it, extra power behind it, whether they're doing, I guess, uh, I mean, well, what are some examples? Is someone doing animating, rendering? Yep, all of the above. So for instance, uh, one product line we have in particular, our Thunderbolt 3 product line. So we have uh, two different versions of a chassis. One ha gives you three available PCIe slots. So then it, let's say you have a iMac or a MacBook Pro or something that has a Thunderbolt 3 port, but you want to add a DSP card you want to add a video capture card. You obviously can't do that, but we give you that flexibility. So then you attach one of one of those chassis, those particular chassis, and it gives you that flexibility to install whatever type of card you want in, you know, and hook it up to a mobile workstation, something like that. So, so really, I mean, now, uh, what, what about some, some popular products that you have or some popular products, uh, products that you pair up uh, with the different, uh, let's say, uh, Apple computers, any limitations to computers that you can use with this? So for the Thunderbolt line, the only limitation is as long as it has the Thunderbolt 3 port, you're good to go. Because one thing that's nice about that Thunderbolt protocol is similar to USB, and that's, you know, Thunderbolt 3 also is USB-C. Uh, something similar to it is it has a lot of the same attributes, uh, whereas plug and play, power on, those types of things. So as long as your laptop or iMac Pro have that, uh, we partnered with quite a few people. We have a, a GPU version of that same chassis that houses one single wide or one double wide GPU. And we actually partnered with Lenovo and Lenovo pairs that up with their laptops as well. So it really, the only, the only uh, caveat there is you just have to have that Thunderbolt port, which now that's u ubiquitous with, uh, with laptop manufacturers. Now they're all installing the Thunderbolt 3, so. No, really no limitations there. So, so really, so you sell, sell the case, you have the different slots on there, people are choosing memory, graphics, are they picking it all themselves? Is what they want to put it in, right? Yeah, they can, or we can also give you some uh, recommendations. So a lot of the times we partner with OEMs uh, or we partner with distributors and then we give your, you know, your recommendations. So since we do uh, do one piece of the puzzle, we can either include everything and work as a de facto system integrator or we can give you the pieces of the puzzle, so whatever works better for you. That's incredible, so let, let's talk about some of the systems. Let's talk about different models you have, something that can help someone in their workflow. Yeah, so let's say if, if, a, if a customer currently has a computer or a server and they want to, they're doing some post-production, rendering, for instance. Rendering, GPUs really lends itself to rendering, speeding up the rendering process here. For the render, sorry, excuse me, the rendering process. So uh, there's, the, there's the first one there. But, uh, <laughs> one mistake you get, that's yeah, it. <laughs> dang it. So, uh, so with that, that system, we actually have a couple different variations of this system in regards to this environment. So you have a computer, a server, you can't install any GPUs, you can't install any more cards that you want, even though a GPU or three GPUs or four GPUs would speed up this process exponentially, you just don't have the room or the resources. What we have is we actually have multiple different versions of chassis where you can take that and connect that to your host system and then your host system is completely transparent. So let's say we have a unit that has eight available PCIe slots. You connect that to your host system empty. Your host system sees those eight slots as if it's right on the motherboard. So then no drivers are required or anything like that. That's my next question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so the only drivers that are required are for any third party cards that you will put into that. Uh, so then let's say you put a, uh, an NVIDIA GPU inside there. That's the only driver that would be required. So if you do have a process where, you know, four GPUs would speed you up 200, you know, 200%, 300%, we can now provide you with that flexibility. And it's not tied to any particular computer. So if you have a uh, post-production house and there might be three or four different editors, they have laptops, you could have a room that's set aside and they could just come in with their computers, hook in, and now they have all that power. Absolutely, absolutely. And like, like I said before, we, we actually, if you come... Uh, 
showing in our booth, we have that same chassis, so we call it our value line, and it comes in two different variants. Uh, so each variant of the value line actually is a 4U chassis with two backplanes in it. And the backplanes can actually be interchangeable. So you can have eight GPUs in one chassis, you can have 16 single wide, say, flash cards or whatever cards you want. You could even put 16 Ethernet cards and have a crazy switch if you really wanted, but you know. All built right in. Right, yeah, built exactly. Right so since it is just expansion, um, just expansion, but it, you know, in, in regards to, in those regards, that you can use it for pretty much anything. So let's say you have, you want to do, you want to render after the fact, but it's spitting out a lot of data, and that data you have to store, you have to ingest it somewhere quickly. And right now, the fastest fabric for that, for storage, is PCIe. So since that's kind of our core competency, it lends itself right into our wheelhouse. So you can have, in this same 4U chassis, you can have one backplane with eight single wide flashcards and four GPUs. You're connected to the host system, so the host system sees that as now you have a supercomputer, essentially, and we can actually provide all pieces to the puzzle. We have various partners in different, um, different verticals for GPUs, storage, everything. So we can actually give you warranty the cards that are installed, give you the whole config, or like I said, give you the pieces of the puzzle. So if somebody's go, let, let's say somebody's needs change, they start as an independent editor, now they're starting to do more work for people, maybe some animation that gets evolved. Are there limitations to the unit for expansion or can they just kind of keep going ahead and, and plug in and playing with new one, things? One thing I love about, about our kind of what we do is it's scalable. And so we do, we work a lot in the composable infrastructure is what it's called. And what that is, is that's essentially using various hardware, pairing up together, and then utilizing those resources across a lot of different people. Um, and that's kind of what this lends itself to with the expansion and us providing the whole solution, some of the solution, kind of gives us that, those options for every customer in any type of environment. Right. So if somebody's going against someone like an editor, um, maybe they want to do color correcting, they're using, let's say, something like DaVinci Resolve. Okay. Yep. So how would they know where to start? Let's say they have a MacBook Pro. It's got a good processor in it, it's got a good built-in graphics card, but it's not just there. How do they know which system to go with, which system to pick? And that's, that's really where we come into play, uh, and that's where we work to educate folks. And so for the value chassis in particular, and we call it our value line just because we have some enterprise line with remote monitoring and some, in which we're, we're more than happy to. If, if we have a big production house that requires those things, we're happy. If it is an editor and he's running into some bandwidth limitations, for instance, I have my iMac, it's awesome. I have an SSD in there, it's all decked out, but for some reason, my when I render, the GPU is not powerful enough. Right away, go onto Google, right? And that's what you that's what you really need is, is, I feel like a lot of folks in this environment know that a GPU is gonna speed that up, but where do you go from there? Okay, how do I plug this GPU in there? And that's really where we would like to educate folks and let them know, come to us. You have a laptop, you have something that is, you need some more horsepower out of it, you don't, you know, because not everyone can go out and buy a brand new server. Yeah, of course. Yeah, especially if you're an independent, you're working on site, that way we can provide you with the GPU. So my, my recommendation would, of course, uh, of course be our, our systems over Thunderbolt, and that, you know, they should come to One Source Video is, is where they should go, or they co should come to us, and we can give you all this information. And then we could probably give you more information than you really wanted initially, right, you know? Right, of course, but hey, listen, the, the more the better, so. So I always think sometimes, you know, sometimes if editors or uh, filmmakers, I, I would even say architects, 3D animators, yeah. anyone that could yes. use something like this, they just might not know this, this is available. I, I think maybe sometimes they just think about what's in the box, the stock model of a computer. And sometimes I always hear people say, oh, I got to upgrade, I got to upgrade, I got to upgrade, when in fact they really should be looking at these external units, which are going to give them that flexibility, more reliability. And you're absolutely right, because let's be honest, if you have a post-production house it's going to be a lot cheaper to add horsepower to systems that are only a couple years old as opposed to doing an entire tech refresh, which we've seen and which are, are absolutely required in a lot of instances. Um, but what we can do is we can either extend the life of a current project, we can extend the life of current units, or if you are doing that tech refresh, come to us and we can give you about 100 different options on how to set up depending on how you want it. And that's what we would do is what we... The approach we take is if a customer comes to us and says exactly how you, what you described, I have this problem. We are, it's taken way too long to render, it takes me all weekend, these types of things. That's when we lay out the options. And that's, that's kind of our approach is give us your problems 
and we have, we trust me, we have something that will fix that in one way or the other. So what about some rough price points maybe? Where, where, where does it begin for someone? So it's, it's, it's great with the uh, our value chassis line, the 16 slot and the 8 slot. The 16 slot would be for the geared towards flash and the 8 slot would be geared towards the GPU rendering. Like I said, you can pair them together. Every iteration of that is going to be uh, uh, just under $8,000 list price. Yeah, which is, you know, com compared to a lot of thing other things in the market, to give you that flexibility is pretty inexpensive. And you're going to use it over time, and you're using it on projects you're getting paid for anyway. So One thing that's <laughs> nice, too, is that it's, it is it uh, is a constant flow of income for the end user, as right. well as it also helps save the GPUs and it saves the cards you're in. Because if you're cooling them properly, if you're running them properly, all those things, giving them all the bandwidth, then they're going to run at their full capacity, which is actually the best for the card. So you're going to get the highest MTBF and all those other things, the lowest failure rate. Which is obviously most important when you're going. Yep, and let's say you have a, a host server and you, you, in, you, you can install three GPUs in it, but all of a sudden your CPU isn't running as fast, your RAM isn't yeah. quite as, as fast, and that's really all those resources are being allocated to different things. Right. Whereas when you take that external and you do kind of the composable, disaggregated type of approach that we obviously market, uh, you really do see a speed up in productivity. You, your uh, third-party cards last longer. All, it, you know, there's a lot of different uh, variables that really add to the to the value. Yeah, definitely. So, what about um, manufacturing of the box, cooling of the mm -hmm. systems? Talk a little bit about, about yeah, that. Yeah. Well. So, we have been an N Nvidia SOEM for many years. So, all of our units go through very rigorous testing. Uh, we have to. We definitely have to have to uh, cool them properly, power them properly, because the GPUs are power hungry. But just because they're so powerful and they do so much heavy lifting. Um, cooling is, there are some units that are geared like the GPU unit over Thunderbolt, real quiet, it's, it's made to be on a tabletop, right next to your laptop, your computer, something like that. Whereas the value line, we actually have uh, multiple fans in there. We can do, because so some GPUs come actively cooled with fans on them, or passively cooled, and we can do both. And the way that we do that is we actually have a little fan speed controller where you can oh, manually really? <laughs> change the speed, because let's say you do have some GPUs that have, or graphics cards that have the fans on them. If you run our fans full speed against those, it may not be perfect, whereas you can do that. And that's kind of, th those are the types of things we look at is the minutia. A lot of folks aren't always looking at those things, but that's where we come into play, that's right? That's why you're there. Exactly. So someone that's watching right now, they, they what, what are some just key problems that you commonly get that you say, we can solve it, we can solve it, we can solve it? We need more resources. Our computers need re more resources, period. That's, that's always really it is a resource issue uh, in, in, any, in any vertical market, especially this vertical market, because we hit the storage, uh, for instance, 4K, 5K, 8K, you have to store that. Ingesting that is just wild. And it's I getting mean, it's more fast. and more. There's, you know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. So, and that's really why I, I really touted us being in the PCIe realm, because right. that's the fastest fabric. That's the fastest way to store information now is right on that PCIe bus. Um, and then with partnered up with the GPUs and all that, I mean, that's really, and that's why we really want to talk about our, our what we call it is our uh, rendering accelerator platform. And what that does is it's the same for you value line, but we are going up to Gen 4 with that. So PCIe has different generations is how they've done it. So it started with PCI and then went to PCI Express. So we've Gen 1, Gen 2, we're currently at Gen 3. Uh, One Stop Systems was the first company in the world to release a Gen 4 host bus adapter, wow. and we will be upgrading our 4U chassis to that Gen 4, so it's going to have the same look and feel. You're going to get all the same features, except it's going to be twice as fast. Wow. So for instance, uh, bandwidth for Gen 3 PCI Express by 16 is 128 gigabits per second. Gen 4, our, our chassis, just one uplink, and we will have two. Each uplink will be 256 gigabits wow. per second. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, it'll blow everything else out of the it, water. It's almost limitless, is what it's, and it just keeps going up. And, and what's so interesting to me is that, um, you know, one-stop systems that, you know, it sounds like, yes, there, there's different models you can get, but you're really going to customize it to what they need as well at the end of the day. Absolutely, absolutely. And we are really in that sweet spot in this environment where we're a manufacturer, we're a hardware manufacturer, uh, but we're just the right amount of people where we have the big company feel but we can do, you know, some custom units for for folks. So it's really, it's really exciting times right now. To be honest with you. Really yeah, de fun. definitely. I mean, it's it's so interesting to me because I've I've been walking around the show as well, and so many different editing systems, so many different controllers. But I mean, end of the day, you can do the greatest production. But if you can't bring it back into post, 
And if you know, sit there and things are freezing, things things are not rendering out, you're not delivering time. What's what's the point? Let's say you, know? you take a week doing the best ingest. You film the best thing ever, and then you take a year doing the post. What's the point? Right. What's the point? Exactly. Now, are there any um, any studios or organizations that? You guys proudly work with that. You deliver your systems to that they're that they're proud that they're working with. I'm, I'm sure there's many uh, out yeah. there. Yeah. So uh, so like I mentioned, um, actually a, a real big one is Addo. Addo works with really? us quite a bit, and they are, as you know, they're real big in this realm. I mean, they've really catered themselves to these this type of environment. So on the storage side, the networking GPU clusters together like we do, they really have been a great partner for us. That's great. So really, what we're saying is, if if you have a post production workflow, you think that your computer might be limited where it is. You're going to go one-stop systems. You're going to have a, an external unit that's built for your needs for, with the uh, different graphics and Not only that, speed. if you are a manufacturer, DSP cards, video capture cards, and you would, you know, you need a partner. We are, we're, we're always open, and we work through, through. Well, I mean, you guys, OneSource has been absolutely wonderful. We're working with us through Blackmagic and, and B&H, and, and we really value this relationship a lot. Absolutely. So, I mean, we're, we're willing to work with everybody. That's wonderful. So now if someone wants to learn more about One Stop and the products, where can we send them, training yeah. portals, where to look at the products? Yeah, please come to our website, www.onestopsystems.com, or please contact your local One Source rep. Our One Source guys are all educated, uh, wonderful with our products. So. That's fantastic. And so you're, you're in South, uh, South Lower Hall. Your booth, do I have this right, 9630? That's the one. That's it, see, I knew it. See, 9630, one-stop systems. You have a lot of the products up. You have we things do. working yep, there. We do, yeah, stop by. Nate will be there. Trust me, he's a cool guy to talk to and uh, to hang out with to check out the products. So, Nate, this is wonderful. I wish you guys uh, the best at the show. Thanks so much for talking about the systems. Hey, thanks, and, thanks yeah. for having me. Have a good oh, 2019. Awesome. Wonderful, guys. We'll be here at the B&H booth, One Source Video Production Workflow. If you want to check out more great products, just like uh, Nate here from One Stop Systems, Stay with us in the loop for the week. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.